Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this image, you can see the engine of an aircraft. Have you guys ever wondered how these engines are manufactured? Well, you might be surprised to hear that aircraft engines are manufactured using a casting process which is over 5000 years old. No, we're not talking about sand casting. We cannot construct aircraft engines which require excellent dimensional accuracy and surface finish using sand casting. This is where investment casting comes in. Investment casting is one of the special casting processes which are employed for manufacturing components which require excellent dimensional accuracy and surface finish. In this casting process, patterns made of wax are dipped into a slurry for preparing the mold. Once the mold is prepared, these wax patterns are melted out of the box, which is why this process is also called lost wax process. Let's talk about this process in a bit more detail. The investment casting process starts with the production of wax mold. This wax mold is produced by filling a special mold created to manufacture wax patterns. This special mold has the shape of the required wax pattern. As the wax pattern is manufactured, it is placed into a pattern tree which consists of several other wax patterns. The pattern tree employs gated systems which are essential in filling all the mold cavities with molten metal simultaneously. Several wax patterns can be combined to manufacture a single complex pattern. Pattern is then dipped into a slurry which consists of refractory materials like silica and binders. The slurry also includes water, ethyl silicate and acids. This slurry forms a coating around the pattern which is allowed to dry. After this initial coating has dried up, the pattern is coated repeatedly to increase its thickness. To obtain a casting with excellent surface finish, the initial coating consists of smaller particles while the subsequent coatings consist of larger particles. Larger particles help in increasing the thickness quickly. The coating is then allowed to dry up for some time. Once the coating has dried up, it can be used as the mold. The single piece mold is then inverted and heated at a temperature of 90 to 175 degrees Celsius. This is done to melt the wax pattern inside the mold. The mold is then kept in an inverted position to facilitate the molten wax to flow out of the mold. This wax is collected in a container and can be used for subsequent processes. The mold is further heated at 650 to 1050 degrees Celsius for around 4 hours to strengthen the mold and remove the leftover wax. The molten metal is poured into the mold cavity and allowed to cool down. Once the molten metal has cooled down and solidified, the mold is broken and the final casting is obtained. This entire process is called investment casting because it involves the investment of refractory material around the wax pattern. Instead of wax, a plastic such as polystyrene can also be used for making patterns. However, unlike wax, plastic cannot be melted away and reused for the subsequent casting processes. One advantage of plastic over wax is that plastic is strong and can withstand forces encountered during the mold creation process. The usage of pattern trees provides a significant boost to the rate of production as multiple casting products can be obtained simultaneously. Now, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of investment casting. Investment casting possesses numerous advantages because of which they are widely applied in industries. This process provided reliable process controls and very good dimensional accuracy. The tooling cost is low and this process is environment friendly as the wax can be reclaimed and reused again. A wide range of complex parts can be manufactured with excellent surface finish. Intricate shapes such as through holes, internal and external splines, slots, blind holes, thread profiles and gears can be easily manufactured. Well, that's all the advantages. Now, what are the disadvantages of investment casting? Well, this process involves high labor cost and the process faces difficulties when cores are involved. The production cycle time for investment casting is higher when compared with other casting processes. Hence, investment casting is infeasible for high volume production of castings. Despite having several major disadvantages, it cannot be denied that investment casting is by far the best casting process when it comes to dimensional accuracy, tolerance control, and design complexity. Because of this, they are used in manufacturing turbine airfoils, aircraft engines, surgical implants, household and office fixtures, construction tools, etc. Well, now's the time to bring this session to a halt. Today, we talked about the investment casting process, its advantages, disadvantages and applications. In our future videos, we will cover more special casting processes. Stay tuned and stay safe. Until the next one, bye.